1260 KLYC. I am Dave, and we are here at the McMinnville Chamber of Commerce event. It's called After Hours, and it's an event designed for business people to come and network, get to know each other, pass out business cards, and see how they can connect and uh, make commerce happen here in McMinnville and Yamhill County. And since we're at Linfield, we decided to uh, take a few minutes and interview somebody from Linfield. Dave Ostrander is, works here at Linfield. What's your position here, sir? I am Vice President for Institutional Advancement, which encompasses alumni and parent relations, uh, development or fundraising activities, and communications. So what's going on? What's on your radar screen these days at Linfield? Well, uh, I'm relatively new at Linfield. I've only been here for three months. So personally, I'm trying to get to know Linfield College, uh, McMinnville, and Oregon. Uh, I'm new to the Pacific Northwest. Uh, so it's all been a terrific learning experience for me so far. Uh, what we're uh, going to be doing uh, coming up forward is uh, uh, there's all kinds of challenges for small, private, liberal arts colleges, and uh, uh, Linfield has uh, really uh, persevered and been very successful uh, in the face of those challenges, and it's uh, up to us and our, uh, my staff and uh, everybody at Linfield to help make sure that there's still resources there to provide a great opportunities for our students. What are the challenges? Is it money? Uh, money's a big one. Uh, that's, it's a little bit more complicated than that. Uh, you know, it's expensive to get a higher education. Uh, and uh, f that means that money is a factor for our students, uh, the tuition costs and, and transportation costs and book costs and all of those. And uh, it gets uh, more and more difficult all the time. So, yeah, money is, is uh, a significant challenge. And Probably for most of our students, they would say that that's the greatest challenge they have in getting a higher education. Are grants available, or is it uh, student loans? They're both. Are those harder to get these days? Uh, you know, not. They're not harder to get these days. Uh, the uh, Pell grants uh, at the federal level are something that are still available. And, you know, oftentimes people think that a private college like Linfield with a fairly steep tuition price is for affluent folks. That's not necessarily the case. I think you'll find that the average family income of students at Linfield is less than the average family income of students at Oregon and Oregon State. Uh, and it's because of financial aid that is available, uh, both from the federal and the state levels and from institutional grants as well. What is drawing students to Linfield? Personalized education. I think uh, in a word, it's that. Uh, you know, students are in small classes. They know their professors. They get an outstanding education. It's terrific preparation for graduate or professional school or to go out on the job market. But uh, they come here and, uh, you know, they're not, it, it's a cliche, but they're not just another number. Uh, faculty and people know them. As I walk down the sidewalk here, uh, one of the things that I've noticed is that uh, people ask me, uh, they, they greet me and they ask me how I'm doing. And then they wait to hear my response. Whereas many, many places they say, how you doing? And it's just something that they throw out there. Here, they wait to know how you're doing. So it's a tremendous environment from that perspective. Beautiful facility here, and we're here at the Chambers After Hours event. Um, I, if you've RSVP'd and let them know you're coming, don't forget to come down here tonight and meet and greet and hand out your business cards and do a little bit of business down here. Dave, thanks for talking to us today. Thank you. It's great to be here. I'm Dave Adams, KLYC AM 1260. We're here with the YC Cruiser tonight, and we're doing our share of networking. Have a good evening. Thanks for being with us. This is your station, Back and Back, and here to stay, AM 1260 KLYC. AM 1260 KLYC, I'm Dave, and we are here with the YC Cruiser at Business After Hours. You can hear the noise in the background because that's commerce is going on. This is the thing that drives industry. Businesses getting together, sharing business cards, eating a little bit of dinner, and uh, making some business happen. And one of our clients is here, Jason Yates of Bug Busters. In fact, we talked to him, uh, actually, we talked to him most every day here on the radio station. Jason, good to see you. Thanks. Thanks for having me. So these. Uh, Chamber of Commerce events, how important are they to your business? 
it's, it's been a, a, a big boon to our business. It's brought in a lot, a lot of extra customers that we didn't know that we were going to have. Because e each of the clients that are here, they have their own business. They're all part of the McMinnville community. Some of them are in Newburgh, like us. But because our business is able to overlap between the cities, we're also able to recommend other people as we get to know the other business owners here. So as we meet, talk to each other, we can find out what clients they've been talking to. And so we can just kind of share business and kind of help the whole community out by keeping the money local. So these, these events are very important if you own a business. Uh, or maybe if you're a mid or higher management level position in your business, you might want to consider talking to the McMinnville Chamber about coming down and being a part of these, make some new business connections, and get some more business going through the door, which is always a good thing. Mm -hmm. and, and it's affordable to join. I mean, the, the, the dues aren't that much. I'm, I'm not sure exactly what they're running right now, but we, we paid our dues off within a month. Of, of business and we signed up in February which is our downtime so by the end of February we are, we already had our money back and now now we're just making extra money that we weren't sure we were gonna have there we go and we're doing the same thing here we're networking we're meeting uh, potential advertisers so uh, KLYC is a member of the McMinnville area Chamber of Commerce glad to do it and glad to be here and, and uh, seeing Jason and our other friends and neighbors here in McMinnville Jason good to see you again thank you Dave thank you for killing those bugs trial to keep trying Bust those bugs. We are here at Linfield tonight and looking forward, hopefully, to seeing you if you're a business owner and uh, coming on down to this event. I'm Dave Adams, AM 1260 KLYC.